Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how you can easily install a lot of software in Ubuntu 17.10 using the Ubuntu Mate Software Boutique which is a fantastic piece of um, software that allows you to install PPAs and pulls down all the right things and sets permissions it's, it's a really good bit of kit and I'll show you how to clean up after you so that you haven't got a system with loads of packages that you're not going to need so all we need for this is a terminal and we just type in sudo apt install well, sudo apt update first just to make sure our packages are up to date and we can then run, I'm not going to upgrade that package because I know what it is so we can then run sudo apt install ubuntu dash mate dash welcome ok hit enter pull down these packages and I'll come back when that has finished. Okay, so that's done. So now all we need to do is type in um, Ubuntu dash mate dash welcome dash dash software dash only. Now, if you don't do this, then it opens and it's completely blank. So if you do this, we get software boutique and we should get all of the apps yes we do so we have all of these different apps here now the good thing about this is if you maximize it you get kind of grid view which I prefer and we can go through and we can click any software that we want to install and you can see anything with a tick on is things that I've already installed on my machine so for example if I wanted um, uh, what haven't I got if I want redshift which I don't really need because I have the night time feature on but I could click that and we can see up in this corner here in the bulk queue that is ready to install okay and you have education software games you can just one click install things like steam it's in here somewhere which I've already got installed okay we've got um, loads of graphic software that we can install again just one click and it will install we've got things for the internet so you can one click install Chrome Brave um, do not install this because we're gonna we haven't got this Kaha or Kaja um, file manager that's the Mate one so there's a couple of things that we can't really use but um, the rest of them should work no problem you can see the massive selection that they've got here office software or lots and lots of things in here um, sound and video I'm using a um, simple screen recorder right now which is in here it's also in the software packages now but just makes it very nice to quickly go through single click lots of things go up here to the bulk queue click apply changes and then it will it will ask you for your password and then it will install now I don't actually want to install Redshift so I'm going to cancel that one and um, I've got everything installed that I need another couple of things that are in here that are quite nice if, if you want to update your sources lists or if you want to configure any packages that have broken just one click here if apt is, is playing up and that will fix it for you um, once we're done we want to clean up so to clean up and get rid of anything that we don't need from the Ubuntu Mate project we type sudo apt remove Ubuntu Mate oops Mate welcome hit enter that will remove, now you can see here it will remove 30 megabytes of stuff but I installed a lot more than that so we'll let it remove that first and then we run sudo apt auto remove and hit enter and that should remove the rest of the stuff okay so hit enter and that's it done and then you end up with all of your software installed so I can show you the, the things that I've managed to install here and you can see there's a if I ever get this open there we go and we've got a big list of lots and lots of different software that I use or my wife uses um, for lots of different things including KD Connect um, Handbrake G Parted Variety YouTube Downloader that I use for work quite a bit so loads of different things makes it really nice and easy to install um, from PPAs and things like that and if you decide you don't want the PPAs you can easily remove them um, as you would with any other PPA in any sort of package manager 
So I hope that's been really helpful um, and thank you for watching.